Hi, in this video I will show a tool that I've made for Apex Legends that can generate an F match for all of its maps. The tool also works on Titanfall 2, but for this video I will just keep it at Apex. So a quick overview of what I will be showing is the automatic generation of traverse portals, the NAV mesh hot swap feature in the engine, the off mesh connection tool and the prune tool in the editor. Over here you can see an AI that currently does not move because there is no NAV mesh. But we're going to generate one right now. So in the editor you will find a simplified version of the map along with a green bounding box. The green bounding box limits the generation of the nav mesh to this area to save some time for the sake of this video. Alright, let's generate the nav mesh. As you can see, the nav mesh has been generated and we can also see the traverse portals with varying lengths, sizes and colors. In the distance we can find even more. If we take a look over here we can see that the ones on the left are red in color and the one on the right are green. That is because the ones on the left have a slight elevation and these traverse portals will instruct the AI to use a different animation. And if you take a look closer on the ground, we can, we can find even more smaller links. These ones can be traversed by humans, drones and titans, whereas the longer ones up here can be only traversed by drones. I am standing right here and the drone is right there. And I'm going to save the file on the disk right now and reload it in the engine and give it a try. Here we have the developer console that I've made along with the hot swap feature that I've also made. And I'm going to execute the hot swap command and we can see that the AI is starting to move and the nav mesh is starting to render. So the AI is using the aforementioned traverse portals to jump from various edges and it's now walking towards me. Here we can see it taking another jump and now it's at me and it's gonna explode. The system is very reliable and yeah there is also an option to generate manual links and that is something I'm gonna be covering right now with the off mesh connection tool. Here you will find three attributes that you can change along with the um, traverse type which I'm sending to 13 right now. 13 will instruct the engine to use the rocket boosters. So I'm going to define the start and end points and we'll see a link appearing. Along with many more attributes that we can change. I'm going to increase the radius a bit. I think this is good enough. We have more attributes that we can change to alter the behavior of the lurping in game regarding the animations and even the start and end points of the of the off mesh connection vertices but I think for now this is good enough and I'm gonna go ahead and regenerate the tile that is hosting this off mesh connection and as you can see the link has been established. Let me save this file again and reload it in the engine using the command and if you take a closer look we can see a faint purple line that is basically the new link. I'm now gonna place an AI on the other side of the tower and it should now be using its rocket boosters. As you can see, it was able to traverse the distance much faster now. And this is a very useful feature for custom game modes and even custom maps. Where we might want to, you know, define some of these areas. Uh, and one of use cases, one of the use cases we had was for a custom Halo mod, where we wanted to combine various towers and whatnot together with quick traverse portals like these. Anyways, the last item I want to cover in this video is the prune tool. If you take a look at the nav mesh, we can see that it is very, very clean. However, if you disable the renderer of the map, we can see that there are a lot of uh, polygons clipping inside the walls. And there are even that ones right here. Also a that one right there. So, it does not really matter for a mesh of this size, but if you're going to generate one that spans across this entire map, well, that can cost you several hundred megabytes. So I've created a solution to prune all of the dead polygons. So we go to the prune tool. We place a probe right there on an Iceland that we want to keep. That will select all Icelands that are connected to this one. And 
you can see that the ones inside the walls are not selected. And if I hit the prune button, it basically gets rid of them while keeping the nav match functionally identical. And I think that wraps it up for this video. Thank you very much for watching.